On this episode, I make the staunching posts for the handrails. This will include some freehand turning, taper turning, and a power top slide hack. So stay tuned for all this and more. Welcome to the Fell Engine Project, where I'm building a 3.5 inch gauge live steam locomotive to my own drawings. I start work over at the lathe with some 10mm brass round bar. This thought chimp paste is going to have a ball on one end and a taper in the middle, and I'm starting at the ball end. Once I'm getting close to the diameter, I check what the calipers and then set the digital readout. Then I proceed to take it to final size and start freehanding the ball. I mark the bottom of the post with a parting tool. This will then give me a reference point to start work at that end. I return to freehanding the ball. I'm using both hand wheels to freehand the curve here. It takes a bit of practice to do this, but once you get used to it, you'll get some really good results. The next step is to start cutting the taper. For this I'm going to use a top slide, rotated one degree. This is a good method for small tapers, but it's obviously limited by the travel of your top slide. Now it's probably worth having a look at my power top slide hack. Turning the top slide by hand can prove less than ideal, providing a poor surface finish and not being easy on the fingers. So, I'm using a cordless drill with a socket adapter, which gives really great speed control. I'm making the cuts in small passes, because as the diameter reduces, parts becoming more flexible. Once the tape is done, I turn my attention to the curve at the base. This is once again just freehanded. I finish the shape using a combination of left and right hand cutters. I'm doing this by eye, so I take a little bit off one side and then the other side, back and forth until I get the shape the way I want it. Another way to have tackled this would have been with the bull turning attachment, but I haven't made enough of these to actually warrant it. Maybe that'll be a future project. The next step is to break out the file. This is used to clean up the surface finish of the taper. Key safety considerations here, the lathe file should have a handle on it. You should also hold the nose.
wants any large scratches are removed, move to emery cloth. This gives a finer finish and I'll go through a couple of grades. Flexibility of the emery paper really helps with the curved corners. Once I've finished with the emery paper, I move to synthetic steel wool. This is often known as scotch bright, but this is actually a generic alternative. From there I'll move to metal polish to further remove the fine scratches. With that done it's time to finish the pin that goes through the foot plate. For this I'm using the parting tool to finish it to the correct diameter and length. With that done I finish the top of the ball as closely as I can, leaving a small end holding that can be cut off afterwards. Then I finish parting off the base. I cut the top off with a hacksaw and then finish it with a file. Then I proceed to finish it to a polish. Final polish and it's ready to go. Now's the time to mention I actually made six of these in three different sizes. The toughest ones to make were the tall ones to support the cab roof, but they all use the exact same process, with the tall ones just being thinner at the top end and having two tapers rather than one. From here I tidied up the holes in the foot plate and I could test fit it. These actually won't be fully installed until the rear buffer's on, as the rear ones will fix into that. As you can see these have turned out really successfully and I'm really pleased as there's quite a lot of brass that went into this so a remake wouldn't have been ideal. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please like, subscribe and share. Catch you next time.